Welcome to a Titleist 915 edition of Behind the Blurb. Now, if you think of producing a quality golf driver as a complex mathematical equation, you could say that Titleist had it solved years ago. And as such, they could be accused of playing it a little bit safe when it comes to driver releases, if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of philosophy. Well, with a 915, that's all changed. Titleist are entering into a very tough market for 2015, and they've really had to try and do something different with the 915 to accept the brand loyalists to go and change their driver and bring in new customers into the Titleist philosophy. So what they've gone with in the 915 is what they call an active recoil channel. Now taking you right in behind the blurb, what that really is, is that same cut through slot behind the club face that you've seen other manufacturers using over the past couple of years with great success. It does two things, it allows the club head to press a little bit at impact to produce high ball speeds, it also stops the ball rolling up the club face at impact to produce low spinning drives and really high speed low spin is the holy grail when it comes to drivers and keywords it just means longer distance drivers and uh, basically the 915 does achieve that but for us it's more of a forgiveness driver unlike some of the other manufacturers who've tinkered with the center of gravity location over the past couple of years Titleist have kept it very much in that traditional low and deep location right in the back of the club and that combined with this new active recoil channel is very reassuring that you've got the extra little bit of hit technology but you've also got that same tried and trusted forgiveness technology. The blurb on the face of the club is that the 915 has a radial speed face and really what that is is a face that's a little bit thicker in the centre that thins out towards the edges. It's really so that the club can comply with the USGA's COR testing limits or trampoline effect limits and really what it means for the player is that you get the same hit even if you don't hit it right in the centre of the club face you do get a great hit off the heel and the toe it's very similar wherever you hit it on the face. Now the 915 comes in two versions the D2 version when you're buying it that would be the big 460cc version with draw bias very forgiving looking uh, the 440cc version is the D3 and that would be more uh, for the tour players, better players, that's more neutral sitting, more workable driver. The 915 also comes with two quality shafts, the Aldila Rogue and the Mitsubishi Diamana are standard. Now, if there is one down point to the 915, it's that that sure fit hosel hasn't been made any easier to get set up by Titleist. It's quite counterintuitive or difficult to get set up. You might need to look at our YouTube video to get it set up properly. But once you do get in the right position, it works absolutely fine. So there it is, the 915, that complex mathematical equation just solved a different way by Titleist. Now if you like our Behind the Blurb videos, make sure to press like, share them around and be sure to make golfbitter.co.uk your first port of call when it comes to buying this Titleist 915 or any pre-owned Titleist driver.